interviews with plants. So today's featured plant is Telema grandiflora, also known as French cup. French cup is a perennial and grows up to 40 to 80 centimeters tall. Usually the leaves are about 30 to 40 centimeters tall and then the flower stalks come above that. When the flower stalks first come out, they're quite upright and then later after the seed pods develop, they usually flatten down and fall towards the ground. In uh, a mild winter, fringe cup can be evergreen throughout the winter, but if it's a colder winter, it'll die back down to the ground and regrow again the following spring. Fringe cup gets its name from its beautiful little white flowers that have beautiful fringed petals that curl around the cup. They appear in early springtime on long stalks. Later in the year, the flowers develop into brown capsules that have little seeds inside them. Another important identification feature of the fringe cup is the leaves. The leaves have an overall slightly heart shape to them with a serrated margin that has a scalloped edge. The leaves themselves are quite hairy. If you pet them, you can feel the little tiny hairs. The stems themselves are also very hairy. If you compare this to another plant, piggyback plant, which can look very similar, the leaves on the piggyback plant are more pointed and less hairy. At certain times of the year, it can be really hard to tell these two plants apart but the flowers are very different. So in the spring, use that as your identification feature. Fringe cup tends to grow in moist areas along stream banks and seepage sites. You'll also commonly find piggyback plant in the same areas. So make sure to double check the identification features. Fringe cup tends to be more clump forming and piggyback plant more spreading. Piggyback plant is also more common than fringe cup. All right, so that's a little bit about our friend, the Fringe Cup. So let's thank the Fringe Cup for its time. And thanks for watching Interviews with Plants.